reveal. Let's see what happened in here. What do you guys think it's gonna be? Ooh. All right, so I went ahead and loosened up all these screws here for the Kush gear. I want to look in there and see if anything happened inside there. Big reveal. Let's see what happened in here. What do you guys think it's going to be? Oh! Oh, damn! Boy, that is chewed up. Look at that. Oh, that's pretty bad. Look, that's getting ready to snap off that piece. Look at that. Wow, that's unreal. All right. All right. Got the Kush gear out. So far, this gear looks pretty good. Yeah, look at that. That back axle looks good. Let's see if I can get in here again. I'm holding the camera and trying to look in here at the same time. Here we go. Get it focused. Yeah, it looks good. Cool. But this guy don't. So you can take a look at that gear. It's pretty shot. Um, also, remember, guys, when you go and pull out this Kush gear, you have a pin in here. So don't lose that pin right there because this pin will pop out. You'll lose it, and then you'll have to get another one if you don't have any spares. So... Well, at least I know what I have to put on for order. Pretty cheap. It's not going to cost me very much. I'll take that off with an Allen and be ready to go. Get the new gears and put them in and I'll be ready to run again. Just make sure you don't ever turtle these things and try to pop them back over, you know, using the forward and backwards on your controller. There you go. Because look, it is rough on the gears. This shattered it. You know, I got it to flip back over, but shattered the gears, just too much torque, you know. And that, this setup right here is just amazing. So that Max 6, that's just awesome. Went with the stock motors, plenty enough. You can see gear shatterers, so I'm going to have to get those hardened gears, see if they work, but I'm sure it'll shatter those as well. Well, guys, it's time to replace all the gears, at least for the spur and the pinion gear on this Kush drive. So far, I, I believe the Kush drive looks pretty good. I mean, it's it's brand new. I just bought it, and I think it was just these gears. Just they were just stock. This was a stock uh, forty-six tooth uh, spur gear from Traxxas, and it just ate that alive. And this guy was a pretty cheapy right here. I got them for cheap. I was just trying to put the truck back together. It just ate that thing alive as well. So, um, well, it looks like that drive gear, it still looks great. So now we're going to put another 46 tooth. This is hot racing. Uh, this is uh, from China. So uh, this is the one that I got here, the parts number here. So ordered that off of Amazon. So I'll leave a link down below. Also going with the 22 tooth pinion. So this one's also hardened. So I had the 24 on there and the 46 and I was hitting anywhere from 58 to 60 miles an hour. I'm gonna bring it back down to a 22, 46. Uh, that'll probably bring me around anywhere from 54 to maybe 56 miles an hour. You know, I'll have to do a speed test on that, but I'm not looking for speed. I'm just kind of looking for all around, uh, you know, just to be able to race around on the track and get some top in if needed. You want to always inspect this in here, even though it's brand new, all that torque in there, when you come down from a jump or if you're doing one of those upright turtling when you're upside down trying to upright, that's a lot of pressure on this Kush gear. So that's why it ate up these gears, but you wanna make sure that the rod is not bent. Everything looks good. This is gonna come off, make sure I don't lose anything here. That way we can put it back together and just inspect your bearing. Make sure the bearing's okay. I'll repack it a little with a little bit of grease in there.
And that's how you put a push gear together, guys. And this right here is a setup that helps drive the whole X-Max right here. And this will just drop right in. And this is the drive gear right here. And then this one right here is the spur. And then you'll have the new pinion gear in there on the motor, you know, controlling all that. So, all right, just wanted to show you how to put that together real quick for those who've never done that before. All right, just gonna give you a little update what I'm doing here, replacing the spur and the pinion. So that's gonna be easy to put in there uh, since I'm running the camera myself and I'm not using a tripod, I'll have to use both of my hands so I don't drop the bearing. But first things first, before they, I do that, this thing's set up for 2446 and I'm going with the 22 uh, tooth spur, I mean a uh, uh, pinion gear and, uh, and still with the 46, but I'm gonna have to move the pins in here. I'm still going with the Traxxas pin system in here. So I'm gonna have to go and flip this guy over and take these guys loose right here and then pull those out and then pull the motor up, reset the pins and then drop it down. I'll show you that here in a second. And definitely be careful not to lose your little spacers there, see? I got two of them on the floor there with the bolts. There's still two sitting there. So remember those, you have to have those to tighten that motor back down. All right, here comes the other part I like doing. I don't mind pulling the motor out. Look at that big bad boy there. All right, everything still looks pretty good. So I put all new mounts, everything in here. All right, let me get a closer look here. Okay, as you can see, I'm on the H. That's for 2446. So all I, I'm gonna go with the 2246. So I'm gonna have to go move a couple pins to the G. That'd be real easy with the uh, Neil Mose pliers. I'll do that real quick, set that motor back down and uh, the gear should mash right up. All right, you guys, I just didn't feel like setting up a tripod and all that. So we're gonna move this guy over to G. So let's go over to G, it's just one pin over. There's one. All right, now all I gotta do is connect the other and the other uh, G and we'll be set. All right, they're both set up in the G position. If you can see that pin, it's kind of hard to see right there, but they're set up. This should drop right down. Should put me in the right spot that I need to be at. Make sure you always get that right in front. See this little piece right here? See if I can get it right here. All right. Always make sure that this lines up in this little groove up here. Because it's supposed to slide down in the front here. And what happens is people put it behind here and that's not going to line up the gears very good. And you're going to have a problem. So it has to come up here and slide into this little space thing first here. There we go. Now it'll push in where it needs to go. Okay, see how I have that in there? Sorry, I'm one hand in it here. We back this out a little bit. All right, so I slid this, there's a little plate thing right here by the shaft and I slid that in there. There's a groove that it needs to be in front of. If you put it behind this, you're not gonna line up the gears very good and you're gonna end up eating uh, that pinion gear and the spur again, so. But now the pins are all lined up, I can flip this over and start putting those screws back in to hold the motor. It took an extra couple minutes here to tighten these all down off camera because I don't use power tools. Like I said, I've had these strip out before. I'm just making sure they're all hand tight now, you know. But anyways, you just want to do them all hand tight. You don't want to go crazy on it. Over tighten them, then you'll have to replace this whole piece again, the whole motor mount. All right, now it's time to put in the cush drive. And yeah, I have Ozzy, my cat, here to help me. Hi, Ozzy. Anyways, I'm gonna go drop this in, so I'm gonna do it off camera because I need two hands. All right, we got the cush drive in. See, there's the transmission gear there. All I gotta do is put that cover over that transmission gear. That way it holds this all nice and steady. Then I can put the pinion in, tighten it down, then put the dust cover on, take it out for a run and see how it does. All right, we've got the cover in there. So you don't want to over tighten these. I'm just hand tightening everything. Just hand tighten, don't overdo it. Don't use the power tool or anything, so. All right, we've got the cush drive in there. That new uh, spur. So now all I gotta do is put the pinion on here, tighten it down, and then we can take it for a rip. 
All right, guys, I recommend putting some Loctite, the blue Loctite, uh, on your threads here for the little pinion because it will back out and then you'll end up chewing up a gear or it'll just completely come off. I've seen that happen before, so. All right, here we go. A little Loctite on there. Made a little mess, but I got it. I got the Loctite on there. You want to make sure you got that groove right here. There's a, there's a groove in here. You want to get that set screw over towards that groove so that way it can tighten down there. Then you're just going to line up the gears the best you can here and then tighten down that that little allen screw there. So I'm going to back that out a little more, but you get the point. Just try to line it up the best you can, but this should be all mashed together just right from, uh, from their specs here. So, and I shouldn't have any problems. It looks like it is. Oh yeah, yeah, that's in there pretty good. Nice and tight. Looks like it lines up perfect. So I hand tighten that is about as good as I can get it. So these all mashed up really, really well. So um, there we go. You can see the gears in there are really tight, you know? So I like seeing with those traction pins. That way I know I'm always correct. Now I have to mic it. All right, everybody, you got it all back together. Dust covers on. Right now is a good time to go around and tighten up the bulkheads. Anything, any Allens I could find, I'm gonna go around and tighten them up because I did a whole rebuild on this. Built it from the uh, frame up. Everything's new except for this center. So I wanna go around and double check everything, make sure it's tight, because it is gonna loosen up since I've only ran it twice. Uh, but yeah, the gears sound good. They sound like gears again. I'm gonna go around tighten everything up and then I'll take it for a little rip and see how it runs. wanted to show you that this thing's alive again so I went with the 22 tooth and the 46 tooth spur on that so anyways runs pretty good I'll do some more tests later I'll get it out to the track so stay tuned for that later on in the future thanks for watching Ladies and gentlemen.